birthday! Jesus Christ. Are you awake now? Dude, your balls are made of pussy. <laughs> Good. All right. So, the day of the big reveal. As you know, we got a new truck. We're in Champaign, Illinois right now, outside of our place. Dumpster squarely behind us, right? <laughs> so, uh, I know I said I was really looking for a hood. Wanted a W900 or a uh, P379X hood, you know, pre-emission motor, all this kind of stuff. What? What? It's really bright out here. Yeah. That's why I wore my shades. I'm um, like, yeah. I'm... But you know, I wanted to really look for a pre-emission, you know, W900 or 379. Didn't come around. Uh, looked all over the Midwest region on truck paper, of course, stuff like that. We did go to uh, some dealers. I was in contact with a lot of de dealers, had uh, financing pre-approval, you know, to go look for a truck up to about 50,000 bucks. And... All the equipment we just, all the equipment we came across just, uh, they were buckets, man. I mean, you're talking trucks, too, 2000, 2007 on back, that, uh, you know, they're already long in the tooth. It's going to be hard to find a truck that was going to be in really good condition. It was 13 plus years old. So, anyway, long story short, we came around to, uh, had to go get a DPF truck. It wasn't my first choice to go do, but once it came down to it, you know, the money output and uh, what we're looking to do is just get a get an old hood that was really run down and rickety from everything we were looking at in our price range to keep the payment and the down payment where we wanted it. Just wasn't coming together. Been looking for a couple of months now and it just wasn't working out. So found a good deal though. We'll go ahead and get into all the numbers of that. But first, I guess for the grand reveal, right? Right. Our new used truck. Here comes the big reveal. We got a 2015 Freightliner Cascadia. Everybody knows you never go full retard. You went full retard, man. What did you shit yourself or something? What the hell huh? what? were you thinking? Pig. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little piggy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so here it is. It's a 2015 Freightliner Cascadia mid-roof Cascadia Evolution. Evolution. It's got a 228 inch wheelbase, 254 rears, 10 speed manual. DD15 Detroit motor with 455 horse and 1550 torque from what I saw. And we got this truck from Lone Mountain Truck Sales. Yeah. Or Lone Mountain Truck Leasing. Uh, we went up to New Holland, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago on the south side of Chicago, at their yard there, and they had a few in stock. We checked them out, came away with this one. Low down payment. Yeah, you're gonna, I'm going to go into all the stuff of why we chose this over continuing to look for a hood. You can go ahead and take a look around here. It's got all new rubber, all new Goodyear rubber. Brakes are all thick. You can see Lone Mountain truck leasing. It's got a little, little hair and pull, a little, little schmeckle on the frame and stuff, and a little bit of rust. But it is a 2015. It's been run out here in the Midwest, of course. It's a old uh, JB Hunt truck. They just turned out a whole bunch of their fleet. So 
yeah you can see a little rust around the screws up there and all that stuff and but everything's strong the fairings strong and everything the bolts are all good but the uh tires are all good brand new rubber thick brakes shocks everything were good airbags pumpkins are good all kinds of stuff the uh fifth wheel actually we'll show you when you get up in the cab too it has a uh, fifth wheel release inside the cab kind of cool maybe these were uh used for like port or uh intermodal, intermodal work or something like that i don't know though i wasn't sure anyway the lone mountain truck leasing got like a couple of hundred of these trucks in and uh the prices on these things were more than i could just you know shake a stick at yeah. truck was only three thousand down and 8.99 a month for 36 months so the total sticker on the truck comes out to less than 36,000 bucks. Yeah. You consider if you were to get a standard truck financing, this truck went for maybe $26,000, $27,000 if you added financing interest into it or whatever. So we got a good truck for cheap. Seems like it's even more solid than the other pig. Yeah, it's even, it's even better than our other Cascadia was. Driving it down the road's real solid, real quiet. It's been fleet maintained by JB Hunt. You know, it's just a decent all-around truck. I mean, it's a Cascadia. What are you gonna do? But it's ours. It's ours. <laughs> it's cheap. And this is uh, coming around on the whole thing of the financing and why we went with this truck instead. Well, hello. <laughs> is the price, of course. And the place that we're leasing it on to, it's going to be more of a local, short regional yeah. contract. So, of course, you know, I'm glad we didn't go out and buy a brand new truck like last year we were trying to. Just uh, getting this thing going on for $8.99 a month for 36 months. I mean, it's a payment that keeps our overhead very low. The gross money I'm going to be making every week will probably be in the range of 3500 to 4000 a week. So you tap in a, say, $225 truck payment every week yeah. on top of averaging maybe 1500 to 2000 miles a week, running about two bucks a mile. So, I mean, like I said, it's going to be around typically 3500 a week gross, but I'll be home pretty much every night. And it's going to be real easy. And just keeping our overhead low. It's a smart move. Uh, if I had found a hood within 50000 bucks, my payments still would have been about 1300 a month for 36 months. And we were putting 15000 down. Yeah. I was getting a just nasty interest rate. Not because I had bad credit, but because through all this time we still have not built any commercial credit yeah. so it, i was coming in as a first time buyer so yeah because the tr lease was just a lease it yeah they didn't they didn't put it on our credit so this is it saw this saw the deal for three thousand down we kept so we kept a ton of cash in the bank yeah. and the payments for only 8.99 a month so it's a decent truck. It'll get the job done. It'll get done what we need it to, and we keep more money in the bank every paycheck. Yeah. So, works for me, man. So I guess we can go take a little bit of a look at it. As you can see, Cascadia Evolution. Ooh. Just standard Cascadia. Actually, this one was set up better than our old one. That one was a 2015 also, so... <laughs> Yeah, it's more upgraded. The dash looks better. It's got better gauges. Has the display that gives you your uh, miles per gallon on average, all that kind of stuff. This one did come with a uh, Meritor Wabco in it, you know, with the sensor down in the bumper, so it, when you get too close to anybody, it starts beeping at you, and it'll even hit your front brakes. So I'm gonna see if I can get that thing freaking disabled. I hit that stuff. Yeah. But all the basic stuff, just like our old one, you know, the basic, just minor amount of gauges, the uh, air filter. But this is the uh, fifth wheel release. You just pull it and it'll release the fifth wheel. But we checked it all out. I already had a fresh DOT done on it. Everything came back good. I mean, aside from that, it has a the 50,000 mile six month 
NTP engine warranty on it. So it pretty much covers everything. You can see that little bit of the garbage over there. Just has the uh, regular old back breaker uh, jump seat in it though. But that's okay. Yeah. It's just for me. Yeah. Don't matter. So you can see though, just. And it's a mid roof. It's a mid roof. In case nobody caught that. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh. But they give you a mattress with it. Haven't put that on yet though. But uh, just storage up top a little bit, you know, little shelves and everything, just like a standard Cascadia. I thought that thing was pretty cool though. It's a little window fan that sits in the little port side uh, window. That's because that there's not an actual window. We had actual windows. In well, there. yeah, those things suck too though. Yeah. But uh, no, I actually like those better. You get a better draft because you can, you can angle the thing at the wind outside. Yeah. It's coming in a certain way. You can pop it that way and it'll actually scoop the air in. It's kind of nice. So it has a little fan to vent the air in better and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's standard little uh, Cascadia. No big deal. It's even got a little TV stand in it. But I'm going to be home every day, so I ain't going to have any of that stuff anyway. Yeah. I ain't worried about it. That's why I wasn't worried about it being all decked out. You know, yeah. microwave, fridge, and all that. And I don't even yeah, you'll care. you'll have probably just a little go bag you keep in here that's... Yeah, in have a go bag and maybe pack a lunchbox. But uh, it does have a Webesto heater in it, yes. right? And all in all... No biggie, but, you know, more enough room to stand up in here still. It's just not a condo. And I figure getting the mid-roof, too, if the place I'm going to sign on with, you know, for whatever reason changes over time, then I got a mid-roof and can take the fairing off if I want to go haul fuel or do anything like that, too. Yeah, or like, you know, living out here, you know, all the grain. And... Yeah, doing uh, hoppers and all kinds of stuff. And yeah. But a mid-roof truck could come in handy for just taking the fairing off the top and... Uh, you know, using it for other kinds of work. Yeah. Some places you want to go do stuff, you cannot have a condo. So, well, let's crank it up. Take a look at the motor. <laughs> Cranks right up. Beautiful. You see, though. Regular old DD15 Detroit. It's all clean, like I said. It's got a little bit of rust and stuff, but all in all, I mean, that's normal. Our truck even looked worse than this one, our old one. Hey, if you go back here though, it's got no stacks on it, it's got a weed burner. Right there, weed burner exhaust. It's got some, uh, it's got an old uh, load lock bracket there. Still got some of the existing stuff, your little antennas and stuff from JB Hunt. It looks like. But I can see the first few things I'm probably going to do is change out those air lines and put some uh, regular straight rubber hoses on them. Probably gonna have to address the uh, tensioner after a little bit. I hear a little squeaking coming out and stuff. Looks like it's, uh, the resistance of it's getting a little bit bad, but it's still good for now. But yeah, a little plastic flap going on there. One of the clips looks like it wore off. Nothing major though. Everything, everything's real smooth with it. It's got side hatches on both sides, which is nice, so you can keep tools and everything. And then, too, I thought these were pretty cool, though, the little ramped rails on it. I'm pretty sure you use that for, uh, what was it, hauling chassis and stuff. That's why I was thinking of the uh, intermodal work maybe it was doing with J.B. Hunt. So, yeah, all in all, though, fifth wheel's good to go. Everything looks nice. I haven't had a chance to hook it up to a trailer yet. I gotta do that. Just make sure the uh, fifth wheel slides right, you know, if, if the uh, kingpin locks up all right, all that kind of stuff. Other than that though, everything looks good. Like I said, the brakes are all thick. Fuel tanks all look good. Like so, you see a little bit of rot going on, but nothing major, it's all still good. Besides, I'm not in it for the looks anymore. 
Right? It's good times. So you can see though, yeah, fuel mileage, you know, seven miles a gallon, blah, blah, blah. It said six and a half when I got it, but I bobtailed from Chicago back down to uh, Champaign. I'm saying six and a half, it went up to 7.1 by the time I got here. What you doing, woman? Hey, she's probably all bummed. She don't get to go with me and all that. Turn this thing off, get a little quiet again. Yeah, you can see though, not bad, pretty clean. All the vents, like these vents are notorious for getting all stupid and just start laying down and everything. You know, for years these Cascadias just had minor little flaws with them that just little tidbits like that that just were dumb. Like I said, the brakes are all good, wheels are all good, all aluminum wheels. All pretty sweet. Right? Yep. I guess that's kind of it. Nothing real special. Yep. Just Cascadia. But we're back in business. Doing solo. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least I'm going to be home every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Does that make you happy that, that we're going to be home every day? Very happy. Yeah, I was <laughs> thinking of, I was looking at jobs too, and most everything was just over the road and more extended regional, you know, out a couple weeks at a shot and all that kind of stuff. So, everyone knows how crazy I went last month. Yeah, and when I was out on the road for that month before, before we parked the truck in April, it was like Lovely. she was going nuts, man. Yeah, I can't I can't be gone. No. Pure and simple. I just can't be gone. So Yep. Yeah, it is what it is. Yep. Are you happy to not be on the road anymore? I am very happy. Especially when the December, January, February, March, April, <laughs> May come around. <laughs> May. Well, it still snows a little bit sometimes. Yeah, hey, April maybe. Yeah. You no, know, I guess we had something kinda of late this year. Yeah. Well, right, then, right in the beginning of May, yeah. Running the CHI up in Washington, it snowed until almost June. Yeah. <laughs> no, Wyoming and Montana and everything, yeah. yeah, it gets all stupid for a long time. So, but yeah, as soon as we can hook this thing up to, I want to take a look at that because yeah. you pull that thing and it actually extends. Oh, even further? Yeah, ex well, it extends the, the pen out, oh. the handle out. So, yeah. No, yeah, good times though. Yep. Got a decent little truck. It'll get the job done. And plus, too, I mean, when it came down to it, the kind of money we we're going to be making, I didn't want to have a high payment. And two, all the trucks I was looking at that were hoods looked like they were just going to be a mechanical nightmare to walk oh, yeah. in. There's going to be nickel and dime in us even after we put out a ton of money to yeah, get it. Yeah, and then they wanted so much money down, it was like yeah. retarded. No, that's why as soon as it came around, this one, 3000 down. Yeah. eight ninety nine a month. Yeah. It's like, hell yeah, man, I can do that. So, yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Beautiful day, too. Yeah. It's only in the 70s out for the past few days. Super nice. Yeah, have the windows open at night. Yeah. Anybody want some corn? <laughs> yeah, we got cor there. we got cornfields all around us. Yeah. It's nice in this part of town. Yeah. We live down south of Champaign, so, yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. So, on that note, yep. new truck. New truck. Going back to work. <laughs> More videos coming. Yep. What do you guys say? Oh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell. And keep it between the ditches. Ditches. <laughs> With turquoise and real diamonds. Ha, ha, ha.